right here. Something's under them. Remember running offshore charters, and sometimes the, the people wouldn't want to leave catching bait because yeah, it was so much yeah. fun. Yeah, we had that happen a lot in Hawaii. They'd come out, and we were catching seven, eight pound tuna to use for bait to put down. And that was five pounds bigger than any fish they ever caught before in their life. They didn't, <laughs> they didn't want to leave. There we go. That feels like a Spanish sardine. Show you guys what these things look like, then we're gonna go fish. Yep, that's a Spanish. These guys are like candy to billfish. And they are hearty little, little fish. They're called uh, Speedos, Spanish sardines. Norm, that's kind of what you want to see on the hummingbird when, you, when you're catching bait. You know why, it sure takes a guesswork out of it, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Just hope it ain't the uh, horn bellies. Horn bellies aren't any good in there. I mean, you can't bait. tell the difference between a horn belly and a sardine on there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that hummingbird just labels them right away. Right. See, they said there was a uh, horn belly down there, and show you guys what a horn belly is. It ain't a good bait at all. People think it is because it shines real good, but I have never in my life caught anything on one of these guys right here. The reason they call them horn bellies, they got these two little horns that stick out the bottom of their belly. And if you can see, they are absolute, they're rigid and they have a real bad anticoagulant. And if you get poked by those, it burns like crazy. There we go. And it bleeds forever. Just one, but now there's none. <laughs> there we go. You always figure with, with lures or whatever, some work, some don't on any given day. I, I never thought about it. A sabiki rig not working on a given day. <laughs> but this one has been cold. Oh, got us a little blue runner here. That's a good bait for any really, sailfish really out there, really isn't knows. it? Well, welcome to this episode of Addicted Fishing. Fishing with Captain Norm Isaacs. I've watched him, I don't know, 17, 18 years catching these big giant billfish. He's not in Hawaii anymore. He's living right here in Hope Sound. And uh, we're gonna go chase some sailfish today. We're here catching bait. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna show you some sailfish a little later. There you go. Let's go then. Coming up right there. All right. Nice. Nice. Oh, he just shot away there. Candy. I always say if I don't learn anything, at least one thing on the water every time I go out, it's time to quit. Some of the things I've heard before, you know, even the even on your show before, you know, the sound of the motor or something to attract them. You know, you don't know whether it's the motor or whether it's the boat itself, but I think it's a lot like when a jet plane flies over kind of low. Most everybody will turn around and look up. You know, we're out here motoring around there in the water. They're gonna they're gonna check it out, probably. In my experience, an awful lot of the billfish that, that, that I've been exposed to come up and eat the shortest bait out there and some of those are not very far out that's pretty wild billfish well we got the line set just gotta wait and see what happens now huh that's right that's wait it's only that laser sharp penetrating into their jaw they don't like right they aren't crazy about that but, <laughs> but you know the stuff they eat they get they get nailed all the time fins and whatnot they're used to stuff sticking them in the mouth yeah that's a fish, 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 fish. Okay. I think we got one. There he is, baby. There he is. All right. Uh, good going. Let's see oh, there, there he is, is okay. baby. Sailfish. You get these out of the way. That's a big one, too. Yes, it is. That good size sailfish. That is a big sail. <laughs> hey, there's a little bend in that rod. We're going to have to chase him quick. We running out of strength? Yep. Okay. Hang on. Almost out of line. There we go. Sorry about it. That. That's okay, don't worry about it. I ain't even on my fins right now. Oh, hang on, hang on.
Go ahead and go forward. He's pretty good ways. Let me know. He's down. Those suckers are so quick. Well, they do say they're the fastest fish in the world, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, he didn't waste any time. Of course he hits the smallest rod. Well, of course. The eight-footer. Of course, if he'd have had a smaller one out there to hit it. That's a good-sized sailfish. Yeah, it is a good one. I'd... He's got my breath taken away. <laughs> <laughs> they are exciting. Here he comes. Might need to go forward a little. He's gonna be, yeah, he's coming up. Uh, that bright blue line makes it easy. Yeah, it does. I don't know if that was designed to be high vis or not, but it certainly is. It works real good against the blue water. Well, like I told you, Norm, this is this is all kind of new to me. It's something I just never really targeted. <laughs> be careful, you get hooked on it. What's that? Be careful, you get hooked on it. It's all addicting. It is. <laughs> On that kind of tackle, light tackle. Oh, ain't nothing like fun. it. They are fun. You know, I don't think there's any fish out there that'll give you more of a battle pound for pound. They just don't give up. They just keep after it. And, and you get them up close to the boat, and half the time you think it's all over, and the way they go, they'll scream off at 50 yards of line. It's just, they're an exciting fish to get. Well, I can't wait to see them do that again. <laughs> I had four wines of backing left. Oh, really? And the backing <laughs> is only 10 pound test. I only put on like 20 yards of it. <laughs> so that's why I had to jam that throttle. I don't know if y'all saw that. We had to jump on a plane to chase this fish for probably 60 yards. And of course, yeah, light tackle. Yeah, I've, I guarantee, I'm not used to having that light of tackles. I figured, oh, big deal, he's running, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Smaller line capacity on these reels. Oh, hey, there he, he goes. Out there jumping. Look at him go. One more time, say fish. That is a nice one. I think it's about time we pay a tribute to the sponsors out there so they can, we can keep doing this kind of good <laughs> yeah, stuff. That's right. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some more Addicted Fishing and the landing of Blair's how many sailfish? Oh, I don't know. However many you want to say. <laughs> Who's keeping track? Let's go then. There he goes. Nice. Yeah. Oh, there he is. He's got a little, little shoulders on him. Well, welcome back. We're still at it. I think this one here must be a female. Oh, what it is, kind of, kind of ornery, stubborn. He, she's gonna start jumping here in a second, coming up on top. I hope so, there, there she goes. Is. There she is, all right, nice look fish. at her. <laughs> now, is this, like, is this like a tarpon? Do you gotta bow to him or? Yeah, it's a good idea. I think with any of the jumping fish, that's probably a good plan. The first sailfish I ever caught, okay, the first two sailfish I ever caught, this would make number three. <laughs> hey. But the first two I caught, well, one of them caught in about 15 seconds because Ron just motored up to him while he was splashing on top. And the other one, same deal, is about 12 seconds. I gotta pay attention from this end of it to make sure that line stays out there. They're so fast, they could be back there in a heartbeat. This one sure got some tug to him, Norm. It's, I've only had one or two fish pull these eight footers like this. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, it's also a nice thing with those, those circle hooks. It, it, it doesn't really hurt the fish. Yeah because it's usually right in the corner of the mouth and also there you know, goes. they aren't hooked yeah. up. There you go, you're still good. I like to keep them out there on that offshore side. You can just because we can see them so much better. Oh, yeah, I can see them in the water there. Remember, remember billfish I think I know of, they have a tendency to run straight into the sun. <laughs> so, straight into the sun or straight into the wind. There's the seas did calm down for us a little. Yeah. There he goes. Oh, there he nice. Goes. You know, with my limited knowledge of uh, sail fishing, Norm, I just, I guess I never gave it enough time. You just gotta put your time in and put your time into them. It's kind of tough there, because off Canaveral, you'd be sail fishing, you have a school of dolphin come by, and you say, ooh, breakfast. Yeah, I nothing wrong with picking up a little breakfast while you're in the process. Yeah, just take your time on it, take your time. You can get in a hurry with them, and bad things can happen. That's with any fish, yeah, so you get like in a hurry, fish. bad things can happen. Coming up right there, all right. Nice, nice. Uh, if you didn't catch where we were earlier in the show, we're sitting off of Hope Sound right now, which is just south of Stewart and just north of Jupiter Inlet. And uh, Norm's been here a couple years now. I guess he's got them figured out. It don't take him long. <laughs> no, I guarantee you I don't have them figured out, not even close. 
you get out there and splash around enough, every now and then you do get lucky. You yeah. Know? Come on. How long has it been since you've been in a 22 foot boat, Norm? I was trying to think, other than a kayak that was in down in Costa Rica, I think it's about 30 years, maybe 35. <laughs> That's the only time I've been in a boat this size was getting a boat to go to a boat. <laughs> and somebody's dinghy off their sports fishing boat. Is he taken? Not really, just kind of sitting there. That's such a weird feeling on that line, I think he's wrapped around it. There he is. All right. With these sailfish out here, I mean, it's really easy to come out here and spend a lot of time before you catch one. But, but once you do that, once you get that fish hooked up, it is worth all that time and effort, I guarantee you, because they are exciting fish, particularly on a light tackle. They air it out pretty good. You know, anybody that ever comes to the shows that I'm at and I have these rods on display and talking about them, I've been them over that much for them right there. And they're like, wow, that's a lot of pressure. Now with the capacity that those reels have, the person, you know, you've got to be pretty well prepared as you were to take the boat and maybe do a little chasing yeah. on these kind of fish. Because they can't take off a lot of line in a rush. Yeah, that was mayhem there for a minute. <laughs> okay, now here's, here's where it can get a little critical. Yeah, he's tail wrapped. Oh yeah, we need to get him as quick as we can. Tail wrap, that ain't good. That's not good. Well, I think he just came undone. And uh, I'm gonna try to put it back out there off that corner. There's tail wrap. That's right, I'll bring him in backwards. I don't know where I gotta go to get away from him. You're okay, you're okay. Oh, well, you're alright. That's a big sailfish to bring in backwards. <laughs> I got, I got him in idle right now. We can back down. Yeah, back down on him here. Just a little bit now. I don't guess that's one you want to grab his tail, do you? Hey, you don't really want to grab his tail. No. Still kind of your ears. Oh yeah, that wouldn't be good. Got a little sweat worked up on me. This is the critical time. This is the critical time. They can go from where they are to where you don't want them to be so fast. Yeah, he's back on the he's back in the mouth now. Good, that's gonna make it a lot easier to handle at the boat. I might have to talk to old Bob Brown in the cape to get this one on the wall. You know, when you wait this long for one, there isn't any bad ones. Uh-uh. But that's a that's a nice one. That is a big jock on sailfish. That's a big Atlantic, huh? That's him. Good God, look at that sail. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to cut it right there. All right, cut. All righty. Let me there touch, he is. Let me touch my sail. Yeah, there you go. You can put her in gear and... Yeah. Woo, baby. Look at that, that is one pretty Still fish, isn't it? baby. All right. Nice. Nice fish. What a beauty. How much you think there? Oh, he's up there. 60, 70 pounds, I think. What's the average size sailfish? Yeah, down much. here, I see an awful lot of them. They're 40, 50 pounds. That's bigger than that. That's that's a little bigger sailfish. Yeah, he's my biggest, I can He's a that. healthy specimen, I guarantee you that. A beautiful fish. He is a beautiful fish. We can just mosey along here a little bit and start swishing some water through his gills. Okay. Kind of revive him a little. What's the, what is the revival time on it? How long does it usually take? Or is it, nah, just... it, it depends on the fish, how tired he is, but usually you, know, you, you swim around like that for a few minutes and you, you'll feel him kind of pick up, start kicking, and time yeah. to turn him loose. Yeah, he's starting to kick now. Fastest fish in the ocean, baby, right here. It'll make a believer out of you when you watch that line melting off the reel on <laughs> I had. I probably had three or four cranks left on that on that reel. That was and getting that close. Was back, that was 10 pound test backing on there. What a beautiful fish. Man. Why haven't I targeted these things more? <laughs> that was a fight. Now if y'all ever get a chance to come and do this, I know you hear me say this on every one of my shows, but 
this this was a this was a treat i tell you that. ready carry on baby okay go out and make a little sailfish make a bunch of little sailfish yeah. that was pretty awesome norm good job I'll, on that i'll do that anytime yeah, you want to get yeah. me down here brother i tell you what that is awesome once You're again y'all ever get a chance we're in hope sound jupiter west palm beach this whole area up and down the whole east coast down to the keys loaded with sailfish what is it the months from like October. Yeah, the absolute banner months start like in, in November and uh, through through uh, February. It's when they're really big numbers. But they're here all year round. I mean, yeah. we, I've caught them here pretty much all year round. People catch them But in the, the concentration seem to be through the winter time. Cold fronts come down, they come down with them. Oh yeah. Well, we got a cold front hitting us here probably in about four hours. So <laughs> we're going to put the lines out. We're going to see if we can get another one on. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some more addictive fishing. Captain Norm Isaacs from Hawaii, down in Hope Sound now, showing me how to sail fish. Yeah, we'll, not be, really. <laughs> we'll be right back. Let's go, then. Stay tuned, folks, because up next, we're going to show you how to rig it right for these sailfish. On today's Rig It Right segment, I'm going to show you what Captain Norm and I were out there throwing today. Circle hooks, synonymous with bill fishing. Anytime you're out there catching billfish, you know, the circle hooks are requirements in a lot of the tournaments now. And the laser sharp circle hook has been one of the ones voted the best for billfishing. It's basically for the survivability. When you release them, the mortality rate when you release a sailfish after you catch it with a circle hook goes, goes right on up. The fish lives and to be caught again another day, basically. 60 pound test Seaguar fluorocarbon leader and uh, had it tied on with a, with a nice loop knot just to make sure that that bait would swim around real good in the water. Had it tied with a uni to uni knot and 30 pound fins excess line. It's one of the best, smoothest lines I've ever used in my life out there and it was definitely getting the job done. Now if you happen to get out to Florida during the winter time, that's the time the sailfish are basically in. And Norm really likes starting out like at 120 foot, going out to 140 foot and just kind of working that whole area. If you got a good hummingbird that reads the bottom real well, you're gonna be able to see structure, you're gonna be able to see bait pods, you're gonna be able to see everything these sailfish are seeing when they're down there. And that's, that's basically what's bringing them into the area. So if y'all ever get down to Jupiter in that area down in Florida in the wintertime, remember, sailfish is the target. And the eight foot rod got the job done today. Once again, the smallest rod on the boat. Luckily it was a Wright McGill, got it done. Remember one thing though, before you get out there and catch some of those sailfish, every season starts right here at Dick's. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. This was exciting. If, like I say, if y'all ever get a chance to do this, Norm knows some guys down here, you got their names? Oh yeah, a couple of good friends of mine. Uh, Steve on the top shelf, uh, Captain Dick Dixon on the Jupiter Fishing Charters. Those, those are just two of a lot of really good fishermen down here in the area. and They'll give you a real good run for your money. They do it every day, they're good at it. Give you a good trip. Well, like I said, we got a front coming in here soon and uh, we've been at it about seven hours out here today. And you know, you gotta put in your time if you're gonna catch a sailfish. You just have to do it. It, take, it might take you a while, might take you two or three days, but get out here and see if you can catch one of these. That, that one there just totally excited me like you wouldn't believe. Norm, it's been a great hey, day out here. I'll tell pleasure. you what. My pleasure, it's, for me too. I would love to come down and do this again when they're just jumping in the boat. Yeah, I can't stand all this shade. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have my tee top next time for you. Hey, one fish show guys. You saw how we did it, you saw how it's done. You can come out and do it yourself or come down and you know, see the guys that, uh, that Norm knows down here. They can put you on the fish all day long. Till next week, don't forget about the website, addictedfishing.com. You get a chance to look up Norm's show coming up, hopefully here next year. Nah, it's not next year, it's gonna be later on this year. Rock and roll, later on this year, we got more big game bill fishing coming up. We'll see y'all next week. Don't forget about Facebook, Addicted Fishing website, and all those good social network media sites out there you can get in touch with us at. We'll see you next week. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to AddictiveFishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. There he is, baby. There he is. All right. <sighs> Good going. He's got my breath taken away. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, baby. Look at that. That is what pretty fish, fish it? baby. All right. Nice. Nice fish. It's a flying fish. It flew into the boat. <laughs>